Coco is purring on your back. The rise and fall of your breathing. What did your mom say? That he sees me as a patient and not a friend. Do you believe that? No, I don't. But he's been acting different to me. Maybe he's busy. Regardless of how busy he used to be back then, he always has my time. Maybe something else then. Maybe I'm just a patient. You like him? I do. But the ways he's been acting lately makes me question myself if I should be with him or not. Does he like you? Did he tell you? No, he didn't tell me he likes me. I see. And it's annoying that I don't want to do too much. Love is patient. And you know, with time, if he really likes you and you also like him, you know with time, Becca. I always thought that once I'm okay, once I'm healthy, he and I will travel around. But now that dream has been aborted. You can still do it. I'm not sure I want to do it with him, Dad. I should go to my room and rest. Good night. You and your daughter gossiping, right? She's hurting thanks to you. In what way? Liam, the way he's been treating her because of you. She will get over it. I don't know why you won't allow these two young adults to enjoy themselves. Nelson is a better man for her, believe me, child. Who? Who is that? Um, I'm the one. Harry, I'm sorry. Why do you have a gun here? I'm trying to protect myself from anyone coming to me. I have a no gun policy here. I don't know. Does Joe know you've got a gun? No, he doesn't. He doesn't know so many things about you, right? He doesn't know yet. Why are you here in my room, Eric? You are bringing danger to my doorstep. I know. You know? I didn't mean to. Joe said I could stay here for some days before leaving. Who do you think owns this house? Both of you. I'm the owner of this house, Cynthia, and if you know me, you know I always don't like to get involved in all these dirty businesses. You want me to leave? I do. Eric, is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I just came to check on her. Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. Why do I keep dreaming of him? Why? Can't you just get out of my head? Uncle Eric doesn't love you, Rita. <laughs> he doesn't care about you. He didn't tell me what he said to me the other day. He just said it's by mistake. There's the one calling. Hello? Hello, Rita. How are you doing? I'm fine. Why are you calling me? I see you're still angry with me. But don't be. Why are you calling me? I wish you understand why I did what I did. Make me understand. Make me understand why you lied to me. Made me feel like you loved me and then you said something else. You should not be thinking about love, Rita. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me what I need to think of. Get off my phone. Don't call me again. <laughs> don't call me. Rita, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Oh my baby, I'm sorry. You're thinking of Zach, right? Good morning, Eddie. Good morning, Annie. What are you doing here? I heard you were dead. People are quick to spread bad news all the time. Did you die? I'll come back to life. I am not going to just die like that. So what happened? Why do you look this way? I don't know yet, but it was a message. A message? Yeah, from Raphael. Why would he send you a message? You know why, honey. How are you doing, Nelson? Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, sir, and you? I'm good. So how are your parents? Hope you are hearing from them. Yes, sir. They are all fine. Wow, Becca. Hi, Nelson. Hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long. No, I didn't. You are looking very beautiful. Thank you. You didn't tell me you'll be going out. He just came up, Dad. I called Nelson to take me out. You two should have fun. Love you, Dad, and have fun as well. Bye-bye, sir. How are you, man? I'm okay. You came alone? Yeah, I came alone. Monica didn't want to come. She didn't. Rita is also pissed off with me. Why? Monica came to see me to stay away from Rita. Yeah. Man, that's not even important right now. I need to leave here. I know. So what's happening? I've reached out to a lawyer. Man, Eddie won't sort it all out. Eddie? Yeah. He came to see me and said he would sort it for me. So you don't need me doing anything? For now, let's just put it on a hold, man. You are trusting him. He's the one that can make it all go away without me being charged to court or facing any sentence. I see. Monica. Charles. I can't believe you are the one right here with me. Oh yeah. I bet you can't after what you've done to me. I didn't mean to. Damn you didn't mean to do it, Charles. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why are you telling me that? That's because I'm sorry for what I did, for how I had acted. Why? I was unwise. I... You lied to me, Charles. You made me believe that you cared about me. I did. I cared about you, believe me. 
I should believe you. Yes, it was all my mom. Always blaming it on your mom. Always your mom. Your mom. You know she had the final say in my life. She... Did you tell her you were coming here? No, I didn't. She passed away. Okay. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going. Going where? Where are you going to? Anywhere, Joel. Why? Why do you want to live here, Cynthia? Why? I need to leave, Joel. I can't be staying here, you know it. Who is stopping you? Yes, you can. You don't have to hide or go elsewhere. You won't understand, Joel. Cynthia, you're not going. You can't stop me, Joel. You're right. But if you run away, you keep running. Why don't you stay here? Running is sometimes the best thing to do. You don't know Eddie. I don't need to know him, Cynthia. I know you. And I know the one who has access to everyone's heart. God. Joel, even if I want to stay, your friend doesn't want me here. Eric? Yeah, he doesn't want me here. Is that why you are leaving? Part of the reasons. Plus, I don't want to put anyone at risk. Cynthia, your presence here doesn't put us at risk. It brings us more of God's blessing. Plus, God has got an assignment for you. Joel, God, 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 see, I just need to go. You're not going anywhere, Cynthia, okay? You're not going anywhere. You're not running, and I mean it. You are not running. We are going to face this together, and we will win. You said you want to start afresh, didn't you? Yes, but I'm not sure I can start afresh. You don't know what I've done. You know what he wants. What? He wants the money to be ready, everything to be in place before he's released. Everything is in place, right? Not everything, Annie. I made plans, but it didn't go as planned. A delivery gone wrong. Don't give me details. You know I'm not interested in knowing what happens to you in your business. I might be needing some money. You know you can't get the money you give me until. This isn't a joking matter, Raphael. Don't tell me about your few Eddie. Don't bring danger to me. You know what you were agreeing to when you put the money in my care. Well, I am going to be needing the money. How much? Everything. What? Rita. Uncle Eric. You are here to see your dad. Yes, I am fine. That was why I was calling you in the morning to know if you'd come. Okay. You are angry with me? I'm not angry with you. I'm cool. You are angry. I know you, Rita. Uncle, I need to go and check on my dad. Should I wait for you so I can drop you home? I don't think that's necessary. Rita. Uncle, I will be fine. He's really mad at me. I will wait though. I will wait for her. Everything, honey. You can't be serious. You can't have everything back. I tried to do a delivery. I... I told you I don't want to hear it. I don't, Eddie. Well, it failed. And now the only way to get money is from you. What do you need so much money for? He's asking for a hundred. What? Yeah, that's what he's asking. Like, get ready before he comes. You don't have up to that with me. I did the calculation. It's up to 78. I can't get that kind of money now, Eddie. You can Eddie, are you crazy or what? How do I get it? The money has been invested. We both won't like it if Raphael is on our back. You are not mentioning me to him. Annie, I am on my toes here. I have calculated everything and the money isn't enough. Eddie, you can't have that amount. Give me half of the money then, at least. You can't have any of it, Eddie. It's an investment. There are procedures to this. Did you spend my money? You know I can pay back if I did, but I didn't. Honey, we need to get the money. Look at me. I am limping. Put your girls to work. Not enough time. There is enough time, Eddie. Find a way around it. I was scared. You were scared? Yes, I was really scared, Monica. And I didn't know what to do at that point. My mom was the one who was taking control of my life. Okay. I knew she was my daughter, but my mom made me swear that it wasn't mine, even though she knew. She already had my future planned out. And it worked out, didn't it? It kind of did. While I was left all alone to raise her. I'm sorry. Sorry is what I hate to hear the most. I know. Plus, you know I was dumb. Really dumb. I was slow at learning everything, Monica. You know how my mom was. I know, but all these are excuses. I left the country not quite long, and I tried to find you, but my small brain couldn't remember so many things. Like my house address? Yes, I couldn't remember. I know I don't keep friends, so it was difficult for me to even know who to talk to. I won't be fooled by your word, Charles. What do you want? To see you and say I'm sorry. He wants to talk to me. Ask Noma. Why am I even thinking about him? Take him out of your head, Rita. Take him out, okay? Hey, baby. Daddy, how are you? I'm okay, and you? How are you? I'm fine, Dad. I miss you and you and wish you'll be out of here. I'm already working on something. I'll be out in no time. That's what I wanted to hear. Hope they're not bullying you in here. Would you dare do that to me? <laughs>
no one not with all the muscles my dad has got definitely what about mom she's fine she said i should say a lot to you she didn't say that did she she's really mad at me i guess she's stressed out with everything that's why she's not here okay i came to check on you dad see how you are doing my time is almost up thank you for coming rita thank you i love you i love you my daddy i'm truly sorry i don't know if i can forgive you i know but i hope with time you'll be able to forgive me eventually okay how is she you don't get to ask about her you are right i'm sorry don't start doing that please don't do it what am i doing you're right i'm sorry but you're actually right monica but i hope you know that i didn't mean to act the way i did to you i'm not that kind of man i don't know okay since this meeting is over now can i go the meeting isn't over yet is there anything else you want to say you are still as beautiful as you were when i met you aren't you married yes but that doesn't mean i can't appreciate your beauty i don't need you to do that married not yet i see you didn't get over me yet you give yourself too much credit that's because i know you didn't get over me how can he get all the money what's wrong with him and he's trying to threaten me me annie eddie ought to know better than that how do i get this money all has been invested what do i do now rafu that's not a man to deal with or threaten what should i do now most of the money has been even been spent what can i do Things haven't been going well in the company. What can I do? What do I do? How much do we even have in the account? I'm sure it's not much. Not even up to the amount he wants. I can't let Eddie put me in trouble. What do I do? I have lived a bad life, Joel. It's really bad life. We've all got our past. Not like mine, Joel. I would listen to you and guide you, alright? Joel, I'm a bad person. A very bad person. You're not a bad person. I'm a bad person. I'm not just a lady who sleeps with me. I'm also a thief. Stealing. I steal, Joel. I steal from my clients most of the times. Why? We did all this, Joel. We needed all. We needed all the money we could get. The Lord forgives. We stole, Joel. Stole a lot of things from those who asked for me. God still loves you. Joel, we did other things as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this man, Freddy? He was all over the news. Yeah, he died. <laughs> we were, we killed him. What? Yes, we killed him and others. We killed so many other people. Oh my God, Cynthia. I know, Joe. You want to know why I can't sleep at night? It's because of that, Joe. I have those dreams. Yeah, they are all after me. Cynthia, I, I... Just let me go, okay? You're not going anywhere regardless, Cynthia. Nowhere. I'm a murderer, a thief, a liar, and so many things. <laughs> I've done so many horrible things. And I'm tired of all this. Living this way as well. What do I do now, dear God? What can I do? Hey, baby. Welcome. Where are you coming from? I went out for some air. Where is Becca? Please don't tell me she's with Liam. She's out with Nelson. Oh, thank God. Is everything okay with you? No. What happened? I can see you are sweaty under the air condition. Eddie happened. He's not dead. No, he's alive but he almost died and I wish he did. Is he giving you problems? Yes, he, he's giving me problems. He wants back his money. Give it to him then. How can I give it to him if I don't have it? You don't have it? No, I don't. Things have been going smooth south lately in the business. So you touched his money or what? Plus, didn't you say you both aren't working together? Yeah, I said that. So what are you not saying? I have been keeping money for him. What? Didn't I say you should stop? How are we going to survive if I stopped? My business, my company was going to crumble to the ground. I had to help him to help myself. Hello, Monica. Zach. How are you doing? I've seen better days. How are you? I'm not fine. I've not seen you, Monica. And you can't see me, Zach. Don't expect I'll be coming over to check you in jail. I won't do that. Baby, I already apologized. An apology doesn't fix the fact that you lied to me. See, I don't even want to talk to you. I am sorry. Goodbye, Zach. She's really mad at me. I'm a horrible person. Cynthia. I deserve to go to hellfire. I don't deserve to be alive. You deserve to be alive. You can give it all on that shot. Can I? Yes, you can. God loves you. But killing someone, Cynthia. Um, I am 
I didn't expect you would do that. I know. Well, you are looking at a murderer, someone who should be in prison and serving full time. Maybe that's what I need to do, Joe. No, of course not. Yes. No, you don't need to do that. You want to let go of this life, right? Yes, I do. You can live your whole life into services to God. Then, I'll help you get it right. Why aren't you pushing me away? Because I know God has a purpose for you, Cynthia. I have to use this money to get myself back. Okay. Yeah, so now I need to find a way out of all this. You would sort it out. Is that what you have to say? I will sort it out. What do you want me to say? I don't want to say I want you, but I did. You wanted me to stay away from him, yes. But if I had listened to you, I won't have anything. His money revived my, revived my company. Now I'll give him back the money. I can't. That was what's pushing the company forward. Okay. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I will sort myself out like I always do. Okay. Yeah. Annie, wait. Let's talk about it. I warned her about her. I told her. Don't carry Claire. He didn't even stay. Normally, he would stay. He really miss what he has said then on not being interested in me. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What do you want? I saw you waiting for a cab, right? Okay. You won't get a cab easily here. Most cabs that come here must have their complete papers and most of our drivers don't. They are usually missing something. Okay. Let me drop you off. No. I'm telling you the truth. Offering to help. I said no, thank you. You'd wait for a long while then. Shoot me, right? That's fine. Please leave. Okay, my apologies. Just that the sun is hot for a pretty lady like you to be standing under. The sun is perfect. I was just offering to help. Go away before I scream out, kidnapper. Definitely not going to do that. I would dear me. You're dead. You really don't want to leave. I see. Kidnapper, kidnapper, help me. You're not serious. Help, help, police. What are you doing here? Hello, Monica. What are you doing here, Eddie? I came to see you. Why? For two reasons. First, to apologize for what happened to Zach. You don't need to apologize for him. He knows what he was doing when he agreed to come back and work for you. It was a one-time stuff. I don't trust the word you say out of your mouth. That's fine with me. What is the second thing? Still on Zach. He did what he did because of you. He loves you, Monica. I'm going to close the door if you're done. Something else, Monica. What? Is she here, Cynthia? I wouldn't tell you. I know she's not here then. If she was, I would have known. Don't come back here again. Tell her he's around and that means trouble for us all. Who is around? Raphael. Raphael? Yeah, who do you think killed Nikki? But Raphael is the one. Yeah, tell Cynthia is around. I really can't believe you screamed out. I know, I have to. Well, look at yourself in my car still. How do you know the people in the police station? Are you a regular customer? I treat a lot of patients in jail. Oh, Dr. Lim. Yeah, I just came to check on some patients and do a quick check. That's nice. When I saw you standing in the sun? I thought you were a kidnapper. Would I kidnap you in front of the police station? Kidnapping a person can happen anywhere. <laughs> Okay. Don't you agree? You're right, but unlikely to be in front of the police station. In Nigeria, don't be surprised. There's something familiar about you. I think we've met before. I don't remember, but maybe it's true. Eric, how could you tell her to leave? She told you? She, yes, she did. She told me. Okay, so has she left then? She's not leaving, man. She's staying. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not, but she's not leaving. You can help her. Joe, see, I'm not joking here. I want her out of the house before I come home. You meet her there when you get home. Joe. Eric, we would leave your house, but not now at least. No, don't push it. Remember, you are a guest in my house. And she's my guest as well. We don't send people into the lion's mouth. The Bible teaches us all to help Eric. We should help. You're not serious. I'm serious here. If she leaves the house and anything happens to her, you blame yourself forever on it, Eric. Man, I don't care. You two should li just leave my house. I'm going to call Rita. You know better than to do that. No one would change my mind on this jail. I don't want her here. I've always kept to my lane. You should keep to yours as well. I don't care if you want to have her with you. Just don't keep her in my place. 